The Book of True Life Teachings of the Divine Master Volume 12 Spiritual Teaching 341 Love Each Other 1. If my message of love had been understood after a long time, humanity would live in peace. But man pretends to be self-sufficient and has forgotten my law. 2. People, in your struggle to spread my work, do not want to work only for your advancement. Shed this light in all without distinction. He who continues spiritually parked in the routine of ideas inherited for centuries and that therefore has not let go of his fanaticism, he will not contemplate my light as you do. Your spirit has received this divine revelation, and what is your obligation to humanity? Put at your disposal the knowledge that you have acquired, bearing witness to the truth with your actions. 3. I have instructed you to make known the message of love that I have come to give you. I have revealed to you that I am in you and outside of you, but you ask me, Lord, how can we reach perfection to get to you? And I tell you that by your own merits you will go climbing until you reach me. Therefore, I always advise you to become spiritual, to go uplifting and putting your gifts into practice. 4. You no longer need forms or rituals, images that do not have life nor power. You have been created in the image and likeness of your God because you have spirit. You have power and gifts to practice good. In your fulfillment, be inspired by the creation that has life and manifest the power and strength of your Lord. Contemplate the firmament. See around you how everything fulfills its mission. See how the sun gives life to that nature and how there is harmony between its elements of life and the germ that sprouts from the earth. All in perfect communion manifests the greatness of God. 5. Christ in his perfection dominated matter and that is why he performed the miracle of giving sight to the blind and making paralyzed walk. It was the spirit that manifested itself through matter. You must evolve so that your spirit can dominate matter and manifest itself through it. 6. Again I come among you as love and charity, but my light is shed on everyone, because the world needs spiritual guidance. 7. Men of goodwill who exhort humanity, reframing from all personal gain and all vanity, those who truly know that, that humanity is estranged from their spiritual father, and that it is necessary for him to come to himself to reconsider and listen to the word of light so that he becomes spiritualized, those who fight for the good of their brothers, no matter what religion or doctrine they belong to, they will be manifesting truth, and truth is God. 8. My doctrine is universal, and as the spirit of man evolves, it will eliminate everything subservious, and you will seek spirituality, light, and guidance for your perfection. 9. Love your God and love your fellow men, because in this lies universal understanding. 10. To you I have entrusted my work, so that through you the world may receive my word. Go to all the same, do not distinguish races or colors, because all are in need of the same spiritual food. In every good deed that you execute, your spirit will be filled with joy. You will feel my peace and greater strength to move forward in the fulfillment of your spiritual unification. 11. With love I await the return of the sheep that have left the sheepfold, of those who are traveling different paths. In this time your master crosses the desert to go in search of the lost, of those who, having filled them with my grace and my love, now I contemplate them wrapped in their great gales. 12. Beloved disciples, spirits that have sprouted from me, I have come to prepare you at this time with my power and with my love, so that you are not carried away by the confusion that surrounds the world. 13. 
the time of my communication through human understanding is coming to an end, and then you will rise up to testify among humanity. I have led you in the saving basket, and I have made you my soldiers of the third era so that you get up to fight for the roads, to make the world feel the confidence, the love towards its God. 14. You will be before the world like a clean mirror. You will see my word fulfilled from the first to the last, because you are my servants, who with humility and obedience will fulfill my mandates and will have written on your heart the law. 15. I, the Master, have come to teach you humility so that you can rise up, imitating me, and go everywhere in the regions, because humanity is hungry and thirsty for my word. 16. It is necessary for you to rise up, O dearly beloved people, along the different paths of the earth, because even many of this nation have not recognized my work. See that in the world those who go in my name, even though you are needy in spirit and you have been filled by my divinity, what do you correspond to do? Make my doctrine known. You will not hide from the world or deny it the charity that it does lack. 17. Sects, religions, and various doctrines will rise up in your path and want to get you out of the way, claiming to be possessors of the truth, claiming to be my disciples. But you will rise up to fulfill my mandates. I give you the alert so that you may be ready in the fight. I will be before you, and I will make you known before humanity as the mediators of my peace, as the balm that calms its pains. 18. By your obedience, you will climb step by step until you reach the top of the mountain. There I wait for the marked of the twelve tribes of Israel. 19. My teaching at this time is the Third Testament, where you will find my mandates which I have given you in the sense figuratively and also clearly so that you take what corresponds to each one. I have engraved in you, Israel, my word with indelible letters and nothing will be lost, and thus you will be able to testify what, in my perfect wisdom, I have entrusted to humanity at all times. 20. Through prayer you reach my spirit helped by my spiritual world that guards you. You already know this way because in the lessons that I have given you in the third era, I have taken you by the hand and I have taught you how to reach me through prayer. 21. The light of my word is before you like a beacon that illuminates your life. You can no longer get lost because I am in front of you. You have come to my call because you love me and have found me manifest in all my splendor. Those who have seen my presence in clairvoyance have enjoyed, but all of you have seen me with the eyes of your love and your faith. You have all tasted my word as a nectar, as an exquisite delicacy, and as balm that heals too. 22. You will no longer be able to confuse the fruit of my word with other fruits because you already know the flavor. You already know that it contains all perfection. Now I am preparing you to speak to others when the time is right, when your preparation is great and you shed your materialism. 23. I pour on all spirits the essence of my word, my love and my light, and all those who seek me find me. In all the religions, doctrines, and creeds on earth, I have found elevated beings who seek in spirituality, spirits that have shed all materialism and have formed a temple within themselves. By intuition they have received from my spirit, because I have revealed to them, as to you, everything that belongs to the third era. They have also read in the scriptures, in my word given in the second era, and in their analysis and meditations, I tell you that I am shedding my light among you, and I have received with love the fruits of your spirit. 24. Great works prepare when contemplating the lost and disoriented humanity. They have risen 
they have made merits and they have told me forgive those who don't know we bring your light the gifts the strength to be able to fulfill your precepts they are based on the law on my word given in times past and penetrate the prophecies and announcements given by Christ to his disciples and they say this is the time that's how they look for me and that's how they have me with them because I can't be hidden from men everyone who seeks me has me in him 25 I am the universal father my love descends to all hearts I have come to all the peoples of the earth but if I have chosen this Mexican nation to fully unleash my word and my revelations it is because I have found them humble because I have found in its inhabitants the virtues and I have made incarnate in them the spirits of the people of Israel but not all belong to this nationality nor are all incarnated all over the world are scattered the spirits that belong to the number of the chosen ones they have been pointed out I have opened their eyes I have sensitized their heart and spirit to spirit they communicate with me 26 you have had my word and my manifestations through human understanding and through your gifts you have contemplated the development of this work in the third era therefore people you are my witnesses that you will speak with all preparation of what you have seen and heard those who will analyze each of my words those who will explain my law because others despite their intuition and preparation do not have all the knowledge that you have their merits are great because they have not heard me in the way that you listen to me but they are united to you in thought the day will come when you will cross the path and you will recognize each other your spiritual gaze will discover in them the spirit they carry their strength and their virtue at that moment you will shake hands and you will know that the traveler who crossed your path is also one of my chosen ones 27 not everyone will hear my word in this way why people of Israel you don't know you don't know if it's because of your lack of union or because of your lack of spirituality but be united with them because they like you are responsible to humanity 28 you will take your portion watch over it and lead it among my chosen ones are those who have consecrated at the service of my divinity taking charge as ministers among the chosen are the most humble those who pass unnoticed in the crowds there are also those who carry the laws and governments of earth I only know the number and I can contemplate them you Israel know how to recognize them by your spiritual preparation you will all unite and form one body and one will at the time of trial in which I have to ask the people of Israel for their dispersion to sow my seed on all roads do not be surprised at that moment some of you will enter the bosom of the institutions and there you will fulfill your mission of love charity and teaching the others will go to the villages far from the big cities you will penetrate the bosom of those rude peoples and there you will fight against fanaticism and ignorance of those your brothers 29 the time to fulfill your mission has not yet arrived I have not fully pointed out to you your portion you are in the time of teaching you are my toddlers and disciples but the time will come when you will become teachers in which men will come to ask you for a word and that word that comes from your lips will be the truth it will be my pure teaching without any mixture you will present it 30 I am preparing you I myself have taken on this great mission of cultivating your heart I have not entrusted her to men because I contemplate selfishness in them I myself have cultivated your heart and with the tests that have crossed your path it has been polished when you have stumbled I have told you this test will bring you great light and when you have meditated you have understood that that test that I put in your path was necessary 
that there was a phase of your heart that was missing a buff. Do you see how my work is perfect? Well, how could you take my word to speak to men if you were not purified, if you did not carry great light and great spirituality? 31. Only I lead you. Only I know the interior of each one of you, and according to your strength I have sent you tests. This is how I have taught you, because at the right moment each one of you will rise up as apostles of my divinity. Countless are the lessons I have given you, how much I have told you about the time past times. In the third era I have put together the three testaments, and I have formed a single book with them. And in this year of 1950, in which I give you the last page, through man, the Master truly tells you, with that page the book is not to be closed. I will keep writing countless new pages for you. I will continue to shed light so that you can penetrate my word, so that you continue analyzing, and according to the times, you will achieve greater spirituality, because you will not stop. 32. In the year 1950, you have not reached the highest spirituality. You are in the beginning of it, but later you will continue developing this gift that is latent in each one of you. 33. Get ready, people of Israel. I am the master of all time. I will not be absent, as I was not absent after my coming into the world as a man. After my departure, I have always been present. I have preceded all the ages and all the acts of humanity. I have always written his works. I have always judged his existence. Who will prevent me from doing it? Who can prevent you from raising yourselves to me and loving me? Who can stop me from loving you to watch over you, to comfort you, and to judge your actions? 34. Those who make up humanity are those who move away from the Father. Those whose hearts stop beating with love for my divinity. Those of you who fall into materialism. Those of you who allow yourselves to be carried away by passions and forget your spiritual mission. But the Father is immutable and inexorable in its laws and in its judgments. I am always the same. Do not think that at a certain time my spirit manifests itself with greater love than in other times. I am the same Spirit who spoke through Moses and the prophets, the same one who spoke through the patriarchs and apostles, and the same one who spoke through all sent. 35. Remember my divinity, people. Be like the Father. Love me with the same love. Don't change from love to coldness. Don't be hot today, cold tomorrow. I want to see you always lovers, always believers always elevated and spiritual, always on the upward path, getting closer to me, because this is the purpose of your spirit. 36. Why one day you present your love and faith to me, and another day you distrust your master? Why move your heart? I want to contemplate you as a firm stone, your faith always the same, your love always growing. I want you to be like the plants that you grow on earth, that you do not stop in your development, that you can achieve in a short time the fullness and maturity of all your gifts so that you can recognize me. 37. I am mercy that cultivates you. You, like docile plants, receive the dew, the life that I give you, and take advantage of it for the greatness of your spirit. 38. Today the children listen to me, and I speak to them the same as I do to men of mature age or to the elderly. Why not speak in another language to the children, if their understandings are small? Because his spirit is great, just like that of you, because they can understand me, because it is not to the flesh that I come to speak, but to the spirit. That's why I say to you, do not belittle the children, or leave them believing that they do not see me. Make them come. His spirit is hungry. I am going to cultivate them in the same way as you. Tomorrow's generations are the ones who have to put on your foundations one more stone in the work of edification, in the work of spirituality. 
39. They are the last dawns in which you will hear my word in this way, and I still contemplate the number of those that hear me. The heart of humanity is hardened, loves only material and pleasure, has left the spirit getting lost and confused in the whirlwind of hate, passions, and ambitions. 40. Only the people of Israel have been able to wake up and are watching over those who sleep, so then always watch. I will convert rocks into fruitful plants. I am going to sow my seed in them at the right time. Just as I have told you, do not build on sand, so I also know when I have to sow, when the heart is ready, when the time has come. You as my disciples, do what the Master does. So, when you contemplate, prepare the heart. When it be open, hungry to receive the light of this work, your intuition will tell you the moment. Great lessons it will reveal, and you will do many works guided by intuition. 41. After my word ceases, who is going to teach you on earth? Each one of you will receive from the Father inspiration with preparation. So learn to pray and communicate with me. After this manifestation, a time, you will continue to meet. The force of your thought will enable you to receive from the source of life and light all inspiration that you need for your passage. I will inspire everyone, but there will be some who will stand out among you having a great intuition and they will be the ones who advise, who speak without calling themselves teachers, without saying they are my successors. Everyone be prepared, because I am going to test your faith, your advancement, and I want to contemplate that you all take advantage of my teachings, and that my word has been fruitful in the heart of each one of you. 42. I do not want to contemplate you crying at this time or feeling nakedness, hunger, or loneliness. I do not want to contemplate you traveling as in a desert, but as a family full of life, energy, spiritual faculties. I want you to love, understand, and help each other. 43. I have taught you love. I have asked you for brotherhood. I have made you understand that all of you have been formed with the same love that all of you have sprouted from my spirit, and therefore you all have the same attributes, the same perfections. The greater your merits, the greater the inspiration, and the greater your actions. 44. When you are not sure of taking a firm step, wait. Gather all your strength. Analyze all the fruits so that you can advance in your evolution. I will bless each of your determinations. I will prepare your spirit in such a way that it clearly understands the dictates of consciousness because you will not remain indifferent as in these times. 45. Many tests will be presented to you. You will have to fight with many obstacles, but you have already passed by the first test. You have already been unknown by your own because of me. You have lost everything and have been compliant, but in me you have earned everything. I have given you the peace of mind that your loved ones could not give you. In me you have found peace of consciousness and spirit. So what can you fear if the world points to you, if it mocks you? 46. Fear not. Be sure of your faith. Be firm in it so that in the moment of trial you can give before them a sample of what my doctrine is, that what you have embraced is just, good, and worthy. Each of you are a representative of my work. Wherever you are, your actions are judged. Therefore watch over your actions by your words, so that you may be my disciples in all ways. 47. Each one of you is like a strong column on the paths of your life. You can attest to whoever has lost. You can rescue from confusion the spirit that has become confused. You can give strength, stillness, and peace to the one who has need. Therefore, people, think how great is your responsibility. 
think that I have not called you by chance, but that by finding my work, you have found a great responsibility before the Father and before humanity. 48. I have not come to recreate your hearing or your heart. I have come to instruct you in spiritual revelations, and after you are filled with this light, your mission is to teach others. If I have called you the chosen people, not because he wants to distinguish you from others, it is because I want to give you my teachings, discover all the mysteries so that you can speak clearly to others and teach them to imitate me, but I will always be your teacher. 49. Whenever you encounter obstacles, stumbling blocks in the understanding of your brothers, whenever new tests come to surprise your spirit, I will tell you, my peace be with you. And in this greeting you will recognize me, and you will say internally, the Master is with me. I am going to receive his inspiration from him, because despite all my preparation, I lack light in this test. And I will give you the light, I will fill your spirit with energy, and I will make your words fair, full really, full of essence. 50. I am speaking to all of them, as to my disciples. I do not want to contemplate you as beginners at the end of 1950. That is why I have talked so much. My teachings have been extensive so that each of you can be instructed and become my disciples in a short time. 51. I contemplate the gratitude in your heart. You say to me, Master, my life and my actions do not deserve to be near you, even receiving your teaching. Do not speak in this way. Let me make you my disciples. Let me love you as much as I have always manifested it to you. Let me present myself among you, so I may show you how much I love you, so that you can love each other, so that you always carry the memory of these teachings, that they are torrents of love in your heart, full of that love, can give itself to others, to your brothers and sisters. 52. I have inspired you with the virtues of charity, benevolence, forgiveness, how necessary these are at this time, virtues, because I contemplate humanity stripped of them. Only selfishness, division, lack of love flourish. Everywhere I hear the mutterings of one another. Remember that I have told you, you will not speak ill of your brother, although you have justice for it. Know how to leave me the cause. I have not appointed you judges. I have sent you all with the same gifts, so that you see yourselves as brothers. 53. Even the justice established on earth does not present just acts. I can contemplate the lack of charity, the misunderstanding, the hardness of hearts, but each one will have perfect judgment. I have allowed these tests, and while humanity does not comply with my laws, as long as it moves away from the fulfillment of its precepts, he will have on earth those who will subdue his heart, who will hurt him. If you complied, there would be no need for judges in the world. There would be no punishment. You would not need governments. Each one would know how to govern their own actions, and all would be governed by me. You would all be inspired by my laws, and your acts would always be beneficial. You would tend towards spirituality and love, but behold, humanity has fallen into a great abyss. Immorality, vice, sin has ruled the hearts of men, and here are the consequences. You have to rush bitter chalices to bear the humiliation of men who, being your brothers, have power on earth. But be humble, bear trials with patience, think that I am the perfect judge. 54. I prepare you on this day with the light of my spirit, and I ask you for prayer and meditation in your life, so that you can understand my word and not only hear it, study it, but not only study it, practice it, so that you understand its value. My peace be with you.